Alright guys, Joe Sexton here, Fat Loss Master Chef. So we're back with another amazing tasting healthy recipe. And today we're cooking sausage meat and caramelized onion frittata. My person it's one of my personal favourites. It's a thing where I make a big batch, I have it for breakfast if I've got some left over, and it's easy just to grab on the go. And that's one of the best things about dieting. If we don't have the the prep doesn't taste that long, it's easy to cook, and once it's done, you've got two or three, maybe more meals out. It's another one perfect for the family as well. So the ingredients we're going to be using three gluten-free sausages, ten eggs, two onions, some mushrooms. Basically, we're going to fry that sausage meat off. We're going to whisk the eggs. We're going to fry the onions and the mushrooms off. Put it all together. Cook it for around about 40 minutes, and we've got a nice taste and healthy meal. So we're going to start by cracking the eggs. So basically, guys, ten eggs, four eggs. A lot of people say that the egg yolk is bad, uh, but it's essential facts. It raises, there was basically a study got done years ago that said that it raises our cholesterol. It was done by a cereal company and it raises our good cholesterol, so it does raise our cholesterol, but our good cholesterol. So basically, it's essential fats that our body needs for not only health, but for losing body fat. Because remember, fat doesn't make us fat. You want to get as little, when I say as little, you want to get no shell on possible. I used to be horrendous at this. But practice makes perfect. So if you haven't cooked before and you're not very good at this, you'll find that you will get better. Guys, it seems like a lot, I'm just gonna quickly wash my hands. Seems like a lot of eggs, but it's gonna be for a huge meal. Basically, so I want you to whisk these and get these prepared. We're gonna throw some salt and pepper in these as well. And then we're gonna set these to one side whilst we prep the rest of the stuff. We're gonna chop two onions, lengthways so like the long. We're gonna chop the mushrooms, then we're gonna basically break the casing of the uh, of the sausage and take the meat out and fry that off in some coconut oil. Quickly throw some salt and pepper in there. And again, just have a good whisk of that. Excellent, right, so I'm gonna set that aside and it's time to uh, prep the rest of the food. So we're gonna start with the onions. We're gonna to basically top and tail the onions, so take the top off and the bottom. I'm gonna take all the skin off. What I find the best to do is half it again, and you can just peel that onion off, peel the, the casing off. So we've got two medium sized to small onions. You don't want them too big, so you don't want too much onion in, but remember once we caramelize it, that's when the flavors come out, that's when we get that sweet taste. So what we're going to do, we're going to do it lengthways. I don't want small strips, I want them like a little bit longer. So we're going to turn it aside and make sure we do it lengthways. Still finely chopped and I want them fairly thin. And what we're going to do is just run all that. A tip guys, once we get to the end bit, I find it best to turn around so we're kind of going against it and not coming towards your fingers. It could actually save you from chopping your fingers off. Right, so that's just done. And again, remember it's one of these things where I'm not that fast with chopping now, but I do get better. So practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the more you're going to find that you get better at chopping, the more confident you get, so the faster you'll be able to go as well. So these are nice, thin uh, slices of onion. So I'm done. What was fine as well when we're brown it, when we're Put that in the pan and brown that off. It'll all split. They seem like big chunks now, but they're not. So we've got one more onion. So again, just like the first one, we're going to top and tail that that onion. You want a sharp knife for this. The sharper the knife, the easier your cutting is going to be. Again, half it, and that makes it so much easier just to peel the skin off that we don't want and start chopping it lengthways. Sometimes you need to use that knife just to, to take it off. This is always the fiddly bit. This is the boring bit of cooking. The prep is always the boring bit. Again, cutting it in thin slices lengthways we get just makes it that little bit nicer once we caramelize it off. I 
that's the onions done guys now it's time to chop the mushrooms these are the easy bits doesn't matter we just want time we just want we want these fairly small onions are uh, mushrooms are a million times easier to chop they're a lot softer so you find that it's so much easier we still want them quite thin so what we do after we take the case the casing off the mush uh, off the sausages we're going to fry them off so it's browned off we're going to put that to one side in a dish the dish that we're going to cook it in and then the, in the fat that's left in the pan we're going to cook the onions and then we're going to throw the mushrooms in as well right that's that done so all that's left is always use a different knife for handling raw meat but i'm finished with the vegetable prep now so i'm just going to use this one as long as you don't get food poisoning, it's the most important thing. Food tastes good, but you got food poisoning, you're not going to be eating for a few days. But guys, it's a case of literally scoring it down the middle. And you're fine with that casing. We can take that out. And it means that we can break it up into the pan. Once it's in the pan, we'll break it up, we'll fry it off, and then we'll throw the rest of it in. Right, so now it's time for the last sausage. Again, like I said before, we'll just score down the middle. And from there, it breaks open the casing. And we're going to take that sausage meat out. We're doing this so we can break it down into the pan so it doesn't stay like whole, so we can break it down into little bits of sausage meat. Now, all the prep's done, it's time to fry and brown the mince, the uh, sausage meat off, and then the onions and the mushrooms and, the, and the, the fat that's left, the little bit of fat that's left. And then we're all going to throw it in with the eggs and we're going to throw it in the oven. So, the prep's done, now it's time to cook. Right, so it's cooking time. What we're going to do, we're going to get some coconut oil. I've said before with coconut oil, we use it because it's got a lot higher burning point than usual oils. Olive oil is a really good oil for uh, drizzling on salads and stuff, but when we fry with it, it's got a very low burning point. So it goes from being a good, natural, healthy fat to something that spoils when it burns. It's not nowhere near as good for us once it burns. Coconut oil has got a lot higher boiling point and burning point, so we can fry with it. So I'm going to get the coconut oil. We're going to go around about a teaspoon in the frying pan. Once we turn this on, we're going to turn it on about medium heat. We don't want it too high because you find the sausage meat just burns. Once that coconut oil melts down, it's, we're going to throw the sausage meat in. The best thing to do is using your hands to kind of crumble them in. If we throw them in, they're already in that sausage form, even without the casing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to break them down with our hands, just so it's tiny little bits of sausage meat instead of big crumbs. So it's the smaller, the better. That was the whole idea of taking them out of the case. We're using gluten-free sausages and 97% sausages because they're a lot leaner they've got a lot less fillers in and you find that they're not packed with nowhere near as much processed uh, rubbish as normal sausages and the 97% lean so you know for a fact what we're getting is good quality meat no washing hands remember guys we're handling raw meat got to make sure your hands are clean Now it's time to fry these off. This should take around about six to seven minutes. We want to make sure that the full meat's ground off, cooked through, and then we're going to throw that into the dish that's going to have the rest of the frittata in. All right, guys, so now the uh, sausage meat is ground off. As you can see, it's all nice and brown. And we're going to throw that in the, in the baking dish. The dish that we're going to be using is a glass a glass bacon dish i wanted to grease it up as well so what i've used is coconut oil i've just melted it down rubbed on the sides and the bottom just so it's non so nothing sticks we're going to throw the sausage meat in and just let that rest and with the fat that's left in the pan from the sausages we're going to cook and caramelize the onions with it as well we're not throwing in the uh, mushrooms yet so we're going to throw the onions in This takes about 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do is break these down and we're gonna make sure everything's ground off. We're not cooking them too high in the too hot of a heat and too fast because we don't want them to burn. We just want them caramelized, we want them slightly brown and you find that they've got that sweeter taste and it makes things so much nicer. So after about five minutes, we're gonna throw the mushrooms in as well. Especially cooking it in that sausage fat, it makes things taste so much better. 
right it's been five minutes and the onions are starting to caramelize a little bit you find that without the sh like use of sugar like you normally do or like balsamic vinegar they don't caramelize nowhere near as well but with the sausages they've got like a balsamic vinegar glaze so when some of the, when we're cooking it off in the fat obviously it helps a little bit in caramelizing that a little bit more so after five minutes we've still got another five minutes to go we're going to throw the mushrooms in and cook them off for five minutes it takes so much it's so, it's so much faster to cook these off and after five minutes the onions should be brown off the mushrooms should be brown off and then what we're going to do we're going to throw the egg mixture in with the sausages throw this on top place it in the oven for about 40 minutes and then we're going to eat Right, so everything's brown off, everything's caramelized now. Now it's time to put it all together, put it in the oven, and then we can eat. So I'm turning this off now. So what we're gonna do is we've got the egg mixture. We've got, we basically beat uh, 10 eggs. We're gonna put the sausage meat in the bottom of the bowl. We're gonna put this in. And let that kind of set. So mix the sausages in, make sure that everything's all even and all not in the one side. And now it's time to throw this mixture on top. So what we're gonna do is throw this whole mixture on top of the eggs and the sausages. Make sure it's even and we're not just throwing it all in the middle or on one side. I preheat the oven, the gas mark five, which is about 190. So it's about moderate heat. And we're gonna have that in for around about 40 minutes. You see a lot of recipes and they only they say it's cooking for around about 20 minutes, but I find that it doesn't raise and it doesn't brown nowhere near as well. So we'll put it in for a little bit longer and it gets a lot bigger and it browns off nicely on the top as well. But it's time to cook. So like I said, I preheat that oven to gas mark five, uh, which is about 190 degrees. I'm gonna carefully put this in. I filmed this the other day when I was going through this recipe and I need to drop it to uh, try and not do it this time. So that's it now for the next 40 minutes. You want to make sure the whole thing is raised and it's browned on the top. You see a lot of recipes and it says it takes about 20, 25 minutes, but I think if we cook it over a longer time, it raises, it browns off, it tastes a lot better. Right guys, the frittata is ready. Right, so this is a gas oven. The oven I have at home isn't. So it's took a little bit less time than it normally would. It took, at my house, it took around, around about 40 to 45 minutes. Here it's taken about 30 minutes. So it's raised up, finding that all the outside's kind of crusted and the middle is cooked. So it's time to kind of play it up. So I'll turn the oven off. Get me manly oven glove so I don't burn my hands. And as you can see, it looks amazing. So now it's just a case of playing it up. It's a case of just cutting down the middle finding that square and then we're going to get a slice take this out like I said this is perfect for this is perfect for like a snack perfect for a main meal what I'll do is I'll go. oh like I said I, had, I, I made this yesterday and I had this for breakfast this morning as well so guys there we go we've got a sausage and caramelized onion frittata uh, it's got mushrooms in, egg, gluten-free sausage, and some caramelized onion. Tastes amazing, super healthy. Literally, like food like this, we find that you'll be eating it, it tastes good, and before you know it, you've, you've melted body fat. So you find that you're dieting, you find that you're eating all this good food, and then two weeks later, the pans are falling off you because you've lost so many inches and so much weight. So guys, enjoy. Remember, everything, all the information is underneath this video. So you've got the full recipe and the link to me, Facebook, Joe Sexton Fat Loss. Check that out. We've got stacks of hints, stacks of tips, pictures, videos, and everything you can do, everything you need to lose weight, get healthy, and tone up. So I'll see you next time.